Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you really like the content, alright? And thank you for showing up again to this video. You guys show up every video. I really appreciate it. It really feels, uh, feels good. And I hope, I hope the videos are alright. I know they've been a little boring in the latest uh, few videos, but... We're getting there. We're almost done um, with the whole structure. So we had a few errors. We gotta we gotta fix. Now I want you to add these. I added a comment in the video while I was editing it. Hopefully you caught on. But um, basically you need these two to dereference these. Otherwise you'll be um, otherwise you'll be comparing the addresses these are holding because these are pointers. Okay. If you dereference them, you'll be comparing the values they're holding. That's what we want to do. So go ahead and do that. And once that's done, you're good to go. There was one error we were getting with a crash when we tried to load a map into, into our tile map from a file. And the problem is our clear function is using, was using um, map max size world here. All right. On all of these. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy this code only. Oh, you only have to look at this. It's the only thing I changed these conditions here. So map dot size map at position X dot size map at position X, Y size and then X, Y, Z size. Okay. And that was crashing the entire thing. So boom, once you do that, you're good to go. Um, you shouldn't have to do anything else. I'm pretty sure that was the only change that I had. And I can, I can look at that one second. Just give me view history. Uh, no compare with, you can also do this if you got your GitHub and everything connected. So you can see what I changed. All right. Yeah, that was pretty much it. This is how it looked before. All right. Layers here, change that up. So just make sure that looks exactly the same. Once that's done, guys and girls, we can run the program and it should be working fine without any issues. We have a few warnings in tile map. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to fix that because we don't like warnings. Anyway, new game, no lag, no crash editor still working. The mode is working. The load is working. I increased the camera speed. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah, that's what I did. And uh, good to go. Good to go. All right. All right. We have a few issues we got to sort out before we can make another editor mode. Now, this is the default one. looks great, right? looks great, but we need to kind of change it up here. See, we're rendering uh, the GUI. We're rendering the GUI into here. But what I can do is I can actually change this to a reference so we don't have this problem. We don't have to dereference it. So just go ahead and change that to a reference. And the reason I'm rendering have two render functions here is because I might have other things I want to render here in this mode, but mostly it's going to be GUI related. Um, so that's the question. Should we just remove the render GUI? Make sure we, we have less functions to work with. That could be, that could be something. So we got to go into the optimization parts here. All right. You, you just make sure this is, this render is like this now. All right. And make sure you remove this then. All right. And that makes means we probably are going to remove. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know what? You know what? Keep it like this for now. Okay. There you go. That's how I am. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, you know what? Keep it like that for now. Keep it like that for now. doesn't matter. We're just going to change this. We're going to remove the null thing here. We're going to put a reference into here and we're going to say render to target target here as well dt and all of these default editor mode cpp good stuff all good to go shouldn't be any issues we run this we shouldn't have any problems um yes we do probably missed something uh default mode render oh, okay there we go to target now, okay, this is what I want to fix as well. We want to open up editor state and everything. And I want to go ahead in here and say init modes is fine. Tile map, GUI, buttons. That is good. 
we just need one more thing we need buttons update gui update pause menu buttons here we go void update modes okay const float dt into there and then void render modes okay and the reason i'm doing this is because um is because the gui itself is going to be for the editor state and the modes are going to have their own little oh sorry about that are going to have their own little um guis and stuff so it's going to be cool you know this is a lot better let me just define these real quick um once you got those two functions we're good to go let's go back into editor state and we'll see render mode so i'm just going to remove this from render gui and i'm going to put it in here now we don't really have a gui yet but we will because remember we need a way to change the modes so i'm thinking we're going to change them using one two three four five and stuff or the or you know small buttons on the top uh, or a little drop down list we could change the mode using a drop down list that's great right yeah then we can do that that's cool uh but still we're just you know we're just working with default mode right now i'm just hard coding it in so render modes let's see if we have anything unused here here we go all right update gui um good 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 deleting the modes very good uh init modes okay everything seems to be fine i just need to cut out the update portion here and put it into update modes and then call that function here this update modes um boom boom okay render modes so render gui pause menu render unpaused render so i'm setting the view um da, 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 da. we're rendering the gui this render mode uh, target okay good stuff so we're rendering it after the the editor modes regular kind of uh, GUI so once that's done shouldn't really crash should have a few warnings we'll look into those but all right new game works as always editor still works I can still select one of these I can load a map I can add a tile remove a tile uh, all the controls still work I can make that collision I can change the type of the tile um, pretty much I can lock the tile so it's only going to render, yeah, for the one. And I'm going to change that lock function. I have one one comment in my videos where you guys figured out a nice way to lock. I just haven't really Im implemented that yet. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and do that later. And I'm going to give you a shout out as well because you're a nice guy. Um, just go ahead and quit. So once that's done, you're good to go. Everything is nice and ready and stuff like that. Uh, there was another problem with enemy that we had to kind of sort out and that was the that was this whole render thing so we have the shader and if we look at the shader i'm sending in the center here uh, for itself for the enemy okay so i don't want to do that i want to do a let's see what it is um const sf vector 2f light position there we go and that should probably be in front here feels better that way so i'm just going to copy that i'm going to i'm going to put it into the problem is going to be entities render entities render here it's kind of uh, kind of gonna be an issue though yeah we could do it this way we could just put that right in there 
and just make sure anytime we render an entity, we need to give a light position. Um, hmm. Okay. So this is the default value. Just give it a regular SF vector 2F here. In the CPP file as well, it's going to be complaining. So I'm just going to set that there. Light position. Light and change these up as well. Light um, position and light position. Okay. Um, player H, entity H looking good. Enemy CPP looking good. Now the only thing is enemy H not looking good yet. So I'm just going to put that in there. Shader equals null equals SF vector 2F uh, equals false. So I'll just give it some default values as of now. And why is that not looking nice? Okay, I need to remove that. Okay, well, there we go. Now, if shader, if we have a shader, we're going to use light position. And if we're showing the hitbox, we're going to do render to the target. All right, you know what? That looks that looks good. That looks all right. That looks okay. Um, pretty sure that should be fine. We didn't define render here, I think. Nope. Okay, good. So, once that is done, we need to quickly go into game state. All right. And we need to go down to where we render the player. Uh, where we are rendering this player. Okay, core shader. And right here, we're going to have to say this player get center. And do that. So the light's going to be at the player center. Okay. At all times. And we can do this nicely. We could probably have a light position variable in game state where we just kind of. Um, yeah, we just kind of send it in. Uh, update it, keep it updated, and we send it in wherever we want from, you know, the one light that we have. I'm not going to do multiple lights right now, but they there might be multiple lights later. Then you probably have to send in an array here of lights and shit. But yeah, we'll figure that out. So if I just run new game, looking fine, looking good, no big deal. All is well. Uh, and there you go. There you go. Pretty much, pretty much looking good. Looking good. Um... We have our thing is here. There's one issue is that when we when we run our game and we set new game, we start as a little black triangle, and that's kind of it's kind of weird. So we're gonna have to fix that. It's probably something with these, which we're gonna have to look at. Um, most probably that this should be one. I'm not sure. Frame. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyway, anyway, that's pretty much for this video. I'd say in the next one we're gonna add the other editor mode where we can add enemies. So it's gonna be enemy editor mode, or um, yeah, enemy spawner editor mode, enemy editor mode, whatever we wanna call it. We'll figure it out. But I'm gonna add that, and that will add functionality so we can change all the variables, um, select enemies, and then uh, go ahead and create them. All right. So it's gonna be pretty cool. But for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've had fun, you learned something. Uh, mostly just fixing things in this video, but make sure everything works. Now you can play your game, you can start it, and you can add more modes. It's going to be pretty easy. So there we go. Structure is complete. And I'm just going to close all windows for now. There we go. All right. Uh, thank you again. Take care. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.